Hey guys, Mr. Light is here with Broken Sword 2. We're inside Condor Trans Global. Where we go see if we can find any clues to lead us to Nico. What's this? The only interesting thing I found was a small brass key. Okay. Let's examine this. Among the paperwork which adorned the notice board was something which caught my eye. It was a delivery note from Condor Transglobal, and the address was Coromonte City. Okay, very well. Let's go over here. Oh. Oh. Confirm my suspicions about what had happened to Nico. Yep, he's the one that knocked Nico he out. To shoot me, but it didn't happen. Instead, he seemed to want to tell me something. Uh -huh. What? What do you want? Uh -huh. He seemed excited, almost desperate. What did he want so bad? Oh, okay, uh, let's have a word with him. We may get some clues. Hi, uh, I'm not going to hurt you. Coramonte. Is that where you're from? Coramonte City? Coramonte, Coramonte. Okay, okay. Well, this is weird. What have you done with my girlfriend? Huh? I am not leaving without her. Where is she? He didn't appear to understand me. Okay, I've got some dog biscuits. Tell me what you've done with Nico, and I'll share these biscuits with you. What? It sounded lame trying to bargain with a box of doggy <laughs> snacks. Yeah, that is kind of pathetic, Besides, George. How was he to know how yummy they tasted? You like dog biscuits, George? Do you know what this is? Peto. Lots of capito. Hmm. What the heck? Okay, let's try this. This was the dart you used to knock out my girlfriend. If she's come to any harm, I will count you personally responsible. This guy is really confusing me. What is this key unlock? Wait, what? He's shackled? Hey, you're manacle. You're kidding. Oh, that big thug? I'm going to set you free, okay? George, are you sure about this? He just scurried away. Hey, come back here. Did he literally just leave just like that? The little guy had gone to ground amongst the stack of crates. Okay. Well, that sorted that out. In the meantime, we got an elevator here. Ah, yes, it actually works. Very satisfying. Now, hang on a mo. Just in time, interrupting the beam of light kept the doors from closing and stopped anyone from using the elevator. But what now? Well, there is one thing we can use. This box here. Wow, George. I think the elevator would have shut by now, to be honest. That would keep the doors from closing. Right, so that's that sorted. Right then, so what have we got around here? Um...
there wasn't enough room to move the handle. Right, so we can't move the handle. Go figure. It should be somewhere around here. No chance. Whatever those crates contained, they were heavy. Okay. What the smaller one? Mm, not gonna help. I was wrestling with the small crate when I noticed the label on its side. Danger. Live contents do not drop. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, wanna avoid that? Live contents? What the heck is in there? Now there should be somewhere around here. Let me try this door here. A sturdy beam was jammed across the doors. These doors were not going to open. We'll find a way, trust me on that. Let me examine the statue. The statue looked way too heavy for me to move. Okay. Where's that flipping? There should be... If I can find it... Wait, hang on, I know what I'm doing wrong. Should be... This one, here. I need to hit one of... Th there should be a switch here I have to hit. I'm over here, George. I could have sworn there was a switch I got to press. Okay, is it on the other side of the elevator? Ah, oh, there it is. Hit that, George. Nothing happened. That was probably because the elevator was already on this floor. Right. Uh... Bingo! That's what I'm looking for. Well, well, well. There was an arc shaped scratch on the floor, as if a door had been opened in the nearby wall. Okay. Let's examine this wall here. My fingers trace the outline of a secret door in the wall. Then I found a small round stud, which was set flush to the surrounding wooden panel. Well, what do you know? Just as I hoped, a secret room. Well, let's go in here. Let's see what we have inside this secret do ro room that there. Nico? Nico? Hang on, Nico, I'm coming.
Wow, we actually found her. There, how are you feeling? Oh, thanks, George. How on earth did you find me? I knew Ubier had been in Marseille, but never mind about me. How about you tell me exactly what's going on, starting with that Mayan stone? Oh, here we go! Hit up from one of Karzak's men in Paris. I was expecting a consignment of narcotics. Drugs? Yes. The proof I needed to expose Karzak's smuggling operation. I'd set it up to act as his courier, and once I had the proof, I planned to go straight to Inspector Moon. But instead of the dope I'd expected, they sent me that stone instead. And to find out more, I called Professor Oubier, who invited me to his mansion. At least, I thought it was Oubier. I don't get it. If Karzak's business is drugs, why is he so desperate to get his hands on that stone? Maybe it has some significance to the local people in Central America. It could be Karzak's means of getting them to work for him. Anyway, we've got to get out of here. That is a very good idea, Nico. Nico, wait. While I'm here, I want to pick up a few things. Starting with the masking tape. I decided to keep the masking tape. It was bound to be of some use to me. And this really creepy statue. That statue's going to be very interesting. So yeah, here we are. We can't use the elevator. If that thug Pablo's recovered, he'll be waiting for us. That's a problem. We've got to do something. Where does that door lead to? I'm not sure. So let's have a chat, Nico. Be a long time. Oh my fit, look at all this stuff we can talk about. Okay, tell me what you know about Condor. Condor Transglobal exports Aztec and Mayan relics from Central America to Europe. But that's just a cover for the real business. Drug smuggling. Oh, go figure! What proof do you have? Nothing yet. Do you know where Condor is based? In Central America. A place called Guaramonte. Oh! A docket downstairs. Tell me about this Karzak guy. Well, I saw him for only a few minutes, but he frightens me. I got the impression that Pablo was nervous when he was around, too. His eyes, they're like a wild animal's, like a tiger. That's what scared me most about him. He looked so unpredictable and dangerous. Oh, dear. Did you know Oubier's wife was a film star? No, I didn't know he was married. What happened to her? She died. In mysterious circumstances, apparently. How mysterious? I heard she was murdered, possibly by Oubier himself. A murderer, huh? André said he was something of a celebrity. Did I hear you refer to Inspector Moon? Wait, that guy? You remember him? The... Uh, yeah, I remember him, actually. Of course I do. But I thought he was dead. Oh no, he reappeared after the broken sword case had blown over. When he found out who was in with the Neo Templars, he went into hiding. Moo knew more than was good for him. Does he know about our involvement with the case? If he does, he's not telling. Still, he got a sudden promotion. Remember Moo, the guy he was working for, um... 
He's the one that first held the gun at us in the original game after the cafe explosion. Did that Indian guy mistreat you? Forget about the abduction, verbal threat, and bondage? No. Well, what about the little guy? I don't think he knows where he is or what he's doing here. The big guy, Pablo, he brought Titipoco from the jungle. Titi what? Titipoco. That's what I heard Pablo call the dwarf. Okay. Now some items. Do you recognize this? Is that the dart which knocked me out? That's right. I kept it as a souvenir. Okay, what the heck, George? Have you any idea who this little statue is supposed to be? I'm not very well acquainted with my own deities, George. But whatever his name, he sure is ugly. Trust me, that thing's gonna be very interesting. I found these in your bag. Oh, they were a gift. I know, I read the note. God knows what was going through Andre's mind. I think that's quite plain enough. Yeah, pretty typical, isn't it? Look, the little guy downstairs was chained up with these. That must have been Pablo's doing. I don't blame him, though. That little guy is dangerous. You're still sore about that poison dart? Of course I'm sore. Okay, we've spoken enough. Now we can get to work. We need to get that flipping door open. What better way to do it than first off, George, come over here. Oh, hang on. Made a mistake. Masking tape on that. They just went through each other. Bit weird. Hopefully, the tape would prevent those doors from closing and stop the Indian from being able to call the elevator. Right. Next up, we need to get this crate back into position. Okay. Then we move this onto the other crate. Finally, we move this crate to get out of the way of the pulley. Very good. Then we pull this pulley. The pallet rose about six inches off the floor said a silent prayer to whoever had discovered the power of hydraulics. What on earth are you doing? Trying to raise the statue so I can hook it to that pulley. Is that really going to help us? I like to keep myself occupied in times of stress. <laughs> Actually, this is going to help us, trust me. So I'll take the rope that Nico was tied to. And we tie it to this statue here. Then we take this and attach it to the pulley. Very good. Then we push, pull this back down again. And we let her rip. We would if we actually could. It was too heavy for me to move on my own. Well, that's what teamwork is for. Could you give me a hand to push this statue? What for? This, my dear, is our passport to freedom. They are literally going to use that Flipping statue to break the door down. If you insist. Great. 
teamwork. Nice to be working with you again, Mr. Stobart. Oh, jeez. These two are unbelievable sometimes. All right, George and Nico, let's get the heck out of here. Oh, great. Um, oh, hang on. We can use these to ride this. Nico, I have a great idea. Yep, great idea. And he's a little bit crazy. Oh, flip. What? The dog was there too? Oh, huh, okay. I did not expect the dog. George, where have you been? Never mind that. Do you have the Mayan stone? Maybe I have, but... Uh... Don't argue, André. Give the stone to George. Well, of course. If you say so, Nicole. Thank you so much, André. Oh, jeez, André. No, she told me you'd been kidnapped, my dear. I'm glad to see he was mistaken. Oh, but it was true. If it hadn't been for Georges, I wouldn't be here now. That's uh, not finished yet. Karzak's thugs will be back for that stone, you can bet. The best lead that we have is Coromonte City. Coromonte is in Central America. That's where Ouvier gets his artifacts. That's all we needed to know. Come on, Georges. Yep, we now have the big lead. The traveler's rear entrance to Central America. New outfits. That's how it was translated in the brochure. We didn't know what we were looking for, but the offices of Condor Trans Global seemed a good place to start. And somebody is watching us. You know, I've got a very bad feeling about that. So, here we are. We have made it to Central America. Hey, it's market day. I don't see any cabs. Let's ask someone how to get to Cuaramonte City. Okay. Keep your eyes peeled for any sign of Condor Transglobal. Right then. Nico's gonna go investigating, and I am gonna stop the video here. So now Nico and George are back together, and it's time to track down Karzak. I will see you guys next video.